Welcome, I am Tyler Disney of Antical Group Oakland and I'm going to be showing you how to link in a new model into your project. So what I've got here is I've got a brand new project, um, I have done nothing to it. Um, first thing you need to do is open a level plan, um, go to the insert tab and hit link Revit. And I'm going to browse browse to the um, file location where your uh, linked model is. And uh, that should be in Revit links. And you should have already cleaned this up, which I explained in a previous video. And this should be all good and ready to be linked in. Um, and positioning nine times out of ten is going to be auto origin to origin. Um, if you don't know, double check, um, ask someone. But nine times out of ten, origin to origin is what we want. Uh, hit open. And voila, there it is. The very next thing you need to do is click it, click the link. Um, it'll have to think about that for a while, so it's all selected, and pin it in place. There's nothing worse than getting a model all nice and set up and copy monitored, and then trying to click a duct and accidentally drag it and push it around. You'll never get it back in the right place. So now um, I can't, I can't move it. It's where it needs to be. So. That is all there is to it. Um, if I go into manage, manage links now, I can check and look, and there it is, it's loaded. We want to make sure the path type is relative, not absolute. Um, and that's it. 